Well, I am as um, grieved and saddened as anybody after listening this, I mean, seeing this carnage, which has been a brutal attack on our civilization, really. Uh, so one cannot just fathom the impact which it would have on the psyche of the people of frontier in particular and, and Pakistanis in general. I mean, this is just uh, absolutely unbelievable when I saw this devastation. Well, let's, uh, let's not forget that uh, the government cannot post guards at every possible historic building in the country. I mean, this is uh, in a civil society. These things should not happen. So I do not believe that the government can post guards everywhere. We have to take care of this problem ourselves as a country, as a society, to make sure these things do not happen. Well, the fabric, the social fabric of the country on the whole, and at least in this area, uh, has frayed for the past many years. Uh, we have seen that. And it's most unfortunate because uh, Peshawar, uh, despite its uh, reputation as a very martial city, uh, was extremely tolerant. The society was extremely tolerant. Uh, we took pride in that, but somehow we missed that opportunity along the line that it is very hard to uh, look, at, look at things and, 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 and try to find the answers why. Uh, I don't think anybody has clear-cut answers. Oh, I think Peshawarites, uh, uh, particularly Peshawarites, uh, but you know the whole area, Peshawar Valley, has gone through upheavals in history, as you, as you probably know. Uh, and I hope it is uh, just one of those convulsions, that periodic things, and it will not have no, it will not have any permanence. Um, but looking at this thing, um, Rahman Baba's uh, mausoleum and others. Uh, it shocks person. It, it just, you know, it, it hurts you to the core of one's being. That why could it happen? Imagine same thing happening to Alama Iqbal's Mazar or, or Qaid Azam's Mazar. I mean, uh, these are very sacred places for us in a literary sense, in a cultural sense. And to have a devastation like that, it's just unbelievable.